there can be another way of getting pure form of a solute like say copper sulfate you take some copper sulfate dissolve it and then evaporate so that it becomes a saturated solution you leave it for a while and what you will get is copper sulfate crystals this method is called crystallization by this method we can make crystals of say alum a saturated solution of alum is prepared in a beaker then we hang a small crystal of alum in it and heat it slowly slowly the crystal will increase in size because all the alum dissolved in water will get deposited on the alum or you take copper sulfate solution heat it it will become saturated solution and then it will change to crystals so this method is used to get pure form of a solute so second advantage of crystallization is preparation of pure salt and getting crystals of alum or copper sulfate this is another method for separating substances in the case of suspension what we found that particles or the solute were heavy so they settled down right so in that case the particles were heavy so they settle down and we can use the method of sedimentation that is how we purify water or muddy water can be made purer if we use the method of sedimentation but what if the particles are not heavy just as in the case of milk we say we say that it is a colloidal solution and the particles are not so heavy they are there it is not a suspension then what do we do you know what milkmen do when they want to sell you cream they just churn it like you churn your things in mixi when you want to make cold coffee or you want to make lassi what you do you churn the mixture in a mixer and if you continue to do so if there is malai that you have collected and if you continue to churn it after some time butter separates from the butter milk and butter is lighter in weight so it will not settle down it will come on top this method is called centrifugation centrifugation means force is moving outside so when in a mixer it is the liquid or the mixture liquid mixture is mixed then the solid particles float on top so what is the application of this method separation of butter from milk this method is also used in certain tests like blood and urine test and same procedure is used for in the washing machines in fact in punjab and haryana many farmers use washing machines for separating butter from milk because it is in large quantity mixer will not be good enough so the principle for the mixer or the washing machine is same 